How much did it cost me to set up my homestead out here in the high desert of Arizona? The first thing that I bought in preparation to move off grid in the high desert of Arizona was the van back there. This is a 2007 Ford E350 and I paid $10,000 for this vehicle uh, about a year before I moved out here. Maybe it's because I was a truck driver for several years, but the idea of living in a van didn't bother me whatsoever. And before moving out here, I looked up the rules and whatnot, and they allowed full-time RVing. And I called the county and asked, you know, is my van an RV? <laughs> like, can I live in my van? Yeah. So I built out a simple living space in the back of the van while I was still working as a produce uh, warehouse manager. <clears throat> it's a real simple build, nothing that I'm proud of to show off. But uh, before too long, I'll probably buy a bunch of cedar and, and just build it out real nice back there. I don't remember exactly how much I spent on building it out um, and adding the small solar system that I got from Renogy. I bought the RV solar system kit from Renogy, but I, I think that I was out about $1,300 total just, just to kind of get set up in the van. Originally, I had four panels set up underneath this rack here, and I have this uh, air conditioning unit. I've never used this AC unit while I've been in Arizona, but before I came out, I used to have a generator on the back of the van, a silent one, and that was about 800 bucks. The AC was about 800 bucks. And I was able to run AC anytime that I wanted to. Another thing that I did, knowing that I was going to live in the van, was I upgraded. It comes standard with 16 inch rims. I went to Big O Tire and bought 17 inch rims all the way around so that I could fit the uh, 450 calipers and brakes inside of the drum. So I upgraded the brake system, uh, the rims and tires, and then I did uh, suspension all the way around the van. I think that was about an additional $3,000. So obviously, one of the first things I had to do was buy the land. And I had a little bit of savings. I had $6,000 set aside. And <clears throat> it was just after COVID had came around. so. Everything was starting to go up in cost, but I looked around and my main intention, I had just been laid off and I had a little savings and I wanted to roll the dice and I could have bought hundreds of acres, you know, and been stuck in a payment and all those things, but I just wanted to be most confident in my success. And so I bought 2.5 acres in the high desert and it was under $2,000. Because of COVID, lumber prices had skyrocketed and I spent $4,000 building this shelter to store tools and eventually start my business out of. There's not a whole lot to it, just I've got a solar system in here and uh, the freezer so I can keep food frozen, food storage, tools, you know, the basic necessities. On this side of the shop, I set up a business. I saved a lot of money on, on my homestead in many ways. If you look, all of this shelving is scrap. All the shelving in here is scrap material. All the tile for the shower that I built was scrap material. Even this wood burning stove I got as scrap material. So with shelter taken care of, being my van to live in and the shop here, I only had about $2,000 left and most of what everything else is just uh, scrap material. And I'll give you a look real quick. And then I filled in the blanks with the little bit of money I had until the day that I started my business. And when I started my business, I only had, no, actually I had no money left. I had zero money left. And I ran $100 in Facebook ads to promote, <laughs> to promote my business. I built this picnic table out of scrap material. <clears throat> I came out here with two IBC totes, so that was probably part of $1,300. All of the pallets it's standing on are scrap material. The metal ladder was scrap material, and then I built the black one out of wood, so I have an A-frame. <laughs> I still never bought a nice ladder. Um, oh, the, 
the little shed here for for wood storage that's all scrap material I did have to buy the panels and the batteries so I have eight sealed lead acid batteries that are about 200 bucks a piece and the panels are about 100 bucks a piece this is all scrap material for the fuel station the the two hugo cultures that i'm going to grow feed on for the livestock that's all scrap material the the cattle wire that goes around for the arch and the chicken coop that was scrap material and the rest was left over from the shed this hoop house was sent in and this was left over two by fours from the shed the metal two by fours are scrap material and the pvc pipe i went and bought from home depot this entire thing cost me like a couple hundred bucks both of the pins here are just about completely scrap material and the agricultural shed back here for the feed and whatnot this is all scrap except for the the corrugated panels i did buy and once I got out here, I bought this trailer to haul water and other things, and that was a couple hundred bucks. So all together, really, just to get going was like nine grand. And if you include the van, $19,000. And, uh, well, now I have a home, you know. I don't have to pay mortgage. And I'm producing a large chunk of my own food now. And those are two of the most expensive bills anybody really has. So... I'm saving a lot of money by doing that and I've been you know I take my time I'm really frugal and it takes a lot of money to run a business so most of my money goes back into stockpiling more herbs so I can you know put my blends together and send them to to Amazon and keep some on my website and uh, so I'm really careful with what I spend in between because I don't want to fail so I just, I take it really slowly, but I do think I'm building wealth up, and uh, I guess it depends on the person. Some people would say, dang, 20 grand, and then a lot of people would be like, that's nothing, because you have to have a vehicle anyway, so like nine grand to get going. Of course, I have income coming in now, so I can work on new projects here and there and just continue to build and grow slowly. Slow and steady is probably the best way to do it, but... Um, I don't know, maybe a year ago I was, I did a, <clears throat> a budget just to see what are my absolute basic needs and I can get by with $500 a month living out here and cover all of my most basic needs, you know, the little bit of bills I have and, and food and those things. So, <clears throat> you know. If you if you lived in a situation like I did and you only made like twenty thousand dollars, but you don't need to pay mortgage and you don't need to buy most of your food, and and you only need like five hundred to get by, you know before you know it, twenty is more like having forty or fifty thousand dollars. So, uh, <laughs> there's wealth to be built, I guess is what I'm saying in owning your own land and and trying to be sustainable and growing food and 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 harvesting water a lot of people have asked me how much money it costs to get started and that's a ballpark of where we're at uh appreciate you guys tuning in comment below if you got a question don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss the next video and i'll catch you guys next time